The World of Color show at Disney California Adventure is an extremely entertaining and you guessed it colorful show. That may be why I get a lot of people asking if a World of Color dining package is worth it. Now let me give you the dish on the World of Color dining packages. Let's get started. First things first, what is the World of Color dining package? Simply put, it's when you eat at a participating restaurant and as part of your dining experience you get special tickets that allow you to enter the special viewing areas for the show World of Color. It's always hard to tell people if an experience is worth it or not because everyone has a different idea of measuring worth, but we're going to get that all taken care of today. Participating restaurants can be found in Disney California Adventure Park or around it, and it's important to note that you still need a valid ticket to the park to be able to have access to this package. One of the options is you can either have lunch or dinner at the Wine Country Trateria. Did I pronounce that right? I don't know. Anyway, which has a bit more of an upscale Italian fare type food. Your dining options are from a prefixed three course menu, and it will include non alcoholic beverages and will include a ticket to the special viewing areas. For adults, this package will cost you around $60 per person before tip. Children ages three to nine will be slightly less than this, but they will also only have two courses. Or for the same price range, you can do a dinner buffet at the Storyteller's Cafe found in the Grand Californian Hotel, not too far from the hotel entrance to Disney California Adventures. I'm going to talk specifically about this package today because it's the one that I've done the most recently. First of all, both locations you'll need to make a reservation for. It will just be a normal reservation, nothing different will need to be done to have these packages. The nice thing is that both of these restaurants are fairly easy to get reservations for. They're not like the straight up 60 days out kind of places. Now there are two ways you can access the Storytellers Cafe either from the Grand Californian Hotel itself, just through the lobby towards DCA, or you can enter from Disney California Adventure through the hotel entrance by the Grizzly River Run. Just know that you will need your park ticket to get back in as well as going through security again. And then it's just a short walk from the security lines to where the cafe is. You'll need to check in first and then they will call your name or text you when your table is ready. Storyteller's Cafe is a buffet. It has characters for breakfast and lunch but not for dinner. It's not a super big buffet or as fancy as say like a nice Vegas buffet, but I'd say it's probably the nicest buffet of all the Disney properties. It has an Old West Storyteller motif going on as well as a lot of wood craftsmanship in many of the details. Now food-wise, they have a carving station as well as different chicken, pork, and fish options. The harissa pork was hands down my favorite. With your typical carb-heavy sides like potatoes and mac and cheese, they actually had really great salad options as well as some really awesome veggie options. They also have some made-to-order items that are included in your price. I had a lovely corn chowder and my husband got a super tasty grilled cheese. With fries, they were very accommodating to all of his vegetarian needs. All of the dessert options fit the bill for me. Yes, I took it upon myself to try all of them in the name of research. The bread pudding and the cookie were my favorite though. All of the staff was very personable and helpful here. And we really enjoyed our overall meal experience at the Storytellers Cafe. 
And as we paid our check, we got our tickets to the viewing area. Now remember to tell your waiter at the beginning of your meal that you're planning on doing this dining package and what show time you prefer so they can pull your tickets ahead of time to make sure that you get them. And treat bags full of macarons, which were surprisingly good. Just a quick reminder to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're liking what you see today and you want to see more like it. Okay, back to your video. Now when you get to the viewing areas for the show in front of the Little Mermaid ride, look for the sign that says Preferred Dining Entrance. This is where you will hand a cast member your tickets and they will walk you to the most available area for your tickets. We were about 35 minutes early to the 9pm showing and got great spots down on the second level of the viewing area in front of the dessert party area and out of the splash zone. And as you can see we had really great sight lines for the show. Whenever picking a spot for the World of Color, keep in mind that the main water screen is basically between the Mickey Wheel and the Hill of the Incredicoaster. You'll also want to try to notice if there's a big speaker or light post right in front of your view. Before I get into all the pricing and whether or not I think the dining package is worth it, I want to give you a small sample of this beautiful show. So you kind of know what you're paying all that extra money for. My greatest reward is to have the, the public appreciate and accept what I've done all these years. That, that is a great reward. One man, one dream. 100 years ago, Walt Disney set ripples of happiness and imagination in motion. He showed us how little ripples can become great waves. It just talk about if I thought it was worth it. So if all you want to do is just dine at the Storytellers Cafe, it's about $44 per adult and I believe about $35 for a child. 
Then to add on the World of Color priority viewing tickets, it's just another $15 per person, which makes it about $59 per adult all in. And when you consider the fact that the World of Color dessert party is $89 per adult and only offers dessert and drinks, I'd say that this dining package carries a lot of bang for its buck. I mean, we left that dinner totally stuffed. I'd say, in the world of add-on packages at Disneyland, that this one packs a lot of value into the cost, and I would for sure do it again. Especially if you're someone who tends to spend a little extra money on dining when you're at Disneyland anyway, an extra $15 for preferred viewing is not that bad at all. just been a sort of dress rehearsal, we're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs>